Hi, I turned my phone on to start this recording because I wanted to share what was in my spirit at this time. And at, when I turned my phone on, it was three, it said 333 and it's 8 a.m. in the morning, 333 a.m. in the morning. So I know that I'm in sync with what's to be said in the video coming from my spirit, from my heart. But um, right now what I am sensing in my spirit is that a lot of God's people are feeling stuck like they don't know how to get out of situations they may be in but in their heart they know that they're miserable they're burdened down they're not happy they've emotionally disconnected or they could be coming out expressing themselves in anger and rage and to let you know anyway the situations will continue to get worse but what the video is about is giving a solution to how the spirit operates in situations regarding the tug of war between the, the mind and the spirit, the mind and the heart. And your body automatically has to follow when it's in alignment. Right now, the tug of war is between the mind and your heart and your body is following the mind because obviously if it's a tug of war, you're not following your heart. So your body is following the mind. So that means there may be um, addictions over indulgence of things that are not healthy for the body. Meaning, if you stay in situations where there's tug of wars between the mind and the heart, your spirit, you can literally go insane, illnesses, dis-ease within the body. Because the body is going to follow the mind because it's not in alignment with the spirit if there's a tug of war. If it don't become in alignment sooner or later, the consequences will reflect through the body, which is addictions, overindulgence, compulsive, um, just negative traits, illnesses, disease, and God forbid, even death. But um, to give our people help on how to some get in alignment to be on the path of becoming in alignment with the spirit then the mind and the body will automatically follow i surround the teaching of no thought that's where my spirit more so want to ponder on and pound on getting out to the people regarding having no thoughts. But I know everybody is not at that level. And right now that level seems to some people, some of our people, impossible because the mind is in conflict at this time i'm speaking to the ones who have the 
the battle going on in the mind and you know what your heart want to do and you 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 you've just resulted to the option of maybe settling or withdrawing emotionally um or or reacting in anger rage type or overindulgence okay the battle is in the mind because obviously you've shut off your heart and you you you, you can't shut it off but you just somewhere the mind is more in the lead to overcome that you you know what your heart want to do so to get the mind in alignment with the heart start thinking of what your heart want to do because if you're in the battle of the mind you're obviously thinking of what the situation is of what's going on that's causing the conflict in the mind that is what you're rehearsing in the mind and every now and then the heart will pop up the spirit uh, every now and then when you isolated quiet alone now your spirit you can hear your heart when you're all alone and but to 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 overcome the mind at this level of where there's a battle you know what your heart your spirit wants to do so instead of rehearsing and thinking the negative situation that you're involved in rehearse in the mind what you desire from the heart as a man thinketh so is he this is what the bible says and that's the form of manifesting what you're thinking so to get the scale tilted to where the spirit will be in the lead, you've got to start rehearsing the thoughts of what's in your heart. Whatever the situation may be, if it's something taking control of you mentally, physically, But your spirit, you know, I don't want this. I, I, I got to do something different. I, I, I just can't take this no more. I want to leave. I, I don't want to do this no more. I hate this. I hate that I do this. Why do I do this? I don't want this no more. Okay, so you know what your spirit is stirring up within you. It's time to cut it off, to separate. But to let that those feelings of your having in your spirit, enough is enough, you have to rehearse the thoughts of what do you want to do? Instead of, you, you know you're in the situation, you know you're fed up, you know you, uh, you're tired, you're done, but what solutions could you be thinking of instead of thinking of how you feel, what the situation is? Replace those thoughts with thoughts of the solution. I'm going to get that job. 
I'm going to get this opportunity. I'm going to do this. I'm going to reach out to this. That opportunity is wanting me. That, 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 whatever it may be, rehearse the thoughts of what you want to do instead of the current situation, your current feelings. Speak it. And then once you're rehearsing the thoughts in your mind, you're going to want to start speaking it. Just as I just spoke it then, I'm going to get this job. I'm going to I'm going to step out on this opportunity. I'm going to get the courage. At first they were thoughts because you got to bring those negative thoughts of the situation of your feelings. You have to bring those negative thoughts into captivity. Cease the negative thoughts. Your situation haven't changed. Your feelings haven't changed, but you have to change your thoughts. So start thinking because it's not going to be easy to speak it at first. But once you start rehearsing the thoughts of the positive outcome of whatever you want, you don't see it anywhere, you don't feel it anywhere, but rehearse the thoughts of that outcome. And the best manifestation is I have that. Whatever I want, I am that. Whatever I want to get, receive, I am that. There is nothing impossible. And then what will be happening in the spirit realm is now you're feeding your spirit to come alive within you, awaken within you, or you awaken to it to the spirit, you're allowing now the spirit to, to come through to your mind. And next thing you're going to allow your mind to start speaking through your mouth. You're going to find yourself once your thoughts have been captured of the negative and now you're pondering and meditating and praying on the outcome. Stop praying the problem. Stop praying the feelings. No, you thank God for the outcome. Thank you. I have that job. Thank you. I have whatever it is. Let your prayer be of thanksgiving. Now you're speaking it. Now you're thinking it. And you better believe in these times, it's manifesting at the pop of me snapping my finger. I don't know if you could hear it, but the spiritual realm is here in our natural realm pouring out to the positive and also to the negative. So reap the benefits of the pouring out, speedily manifesting. Get in line with what God is doing in this realm. Prayers aren't taking long to be manifested when it's when it's in proper order. Capture your thoughts. Capture your thoughts. Speak your outcome. Thank God for your outcome. Meditate on the outcome that you desire.
whatever it may be, thank God for it. And now you'll start speaking it. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Whatever your higher power is. Because you don't want nothing coming from no other source. So to make sure it's coming from the right source, give thanks to your higher power. Thank you for, for blessing me with this. Thank you for blessing me with, thank you, thank you. You don't see it, you don't feel it, but you have thanks for it. And watch it manifest in speedily time. God's timing and God's timing is faster than you think. Have a blessed day.